Hey guys, it's Stu Sooner back in another video. Today I want to say that we finished all three of the Halloween sets and they're off the shelf down here. So I'm going to be discussing these sets and let's just hop right in. So on Thursday we built the Frankenstein. I built one and my brother Gabe built one. And we on Friday we built the Hayride. So those are the two sets we built on Thursday and Friday. But just yesterday we built these ornaments. These are the pumpkin and bat duo. So these are the three Halloween sets we got this year, and all of them are really good. Um, but there's only one I want. I like one the most, and I like one the least. So we're gonna be. I'm gonna tell you what the my favorite one is and my least favorite one is, and I'm gonna tell you why. And then I'll be showing you where they're going to go for probably uh, the rest of the year. And then I'll be dropping them from the height of the Stranger Things table. So hopefully I don't have a huge mess to pick up. So let's just dive right into the video. Let's go. So first we're going to count down my favorite and my least favorite Halloween set. So my least favorite Halloween set is the Pumpkin and Bat Duo. I'll give you a few reasons why. Because first off... It's an ornament. It's in Halloween. It doesn't mean it's not cool or anything. It's probably one of the coolest sets. I just don't think um, it fits the timing really right. Um, my mom really loved this set because I don't know how to tie a knot, so I needed her to tie it, and she, she thought it was just a great set. Um, so she really liked it, but of course I've got two other sets I can compare it to, and I definitely think this comes in number three. So this might come out a shocker to most, but um, my number two spot is actually the Frankenstein Brickhead. Um, I just, I really liked the Hayride, and I thought that had to take first. Because I, I did this thing where I was just like, if I were to have a hundred of either set, I would definitely ha re uh, really like a hundred Hayrides and not the hundred Frankenstein. The Frankenstein, I think, looks amazing. It's just, um... I think the hayride just takes it because it pops really well. Because, of course, Frankenstein's all gray and black. But he still looks absolutely amazing and really takes the number two spot to a high level. So that leaves number one. Number one is, of course, hayride, like I said. Um, but I just really loved this set. It was a fun build, but the one annoying part was the stickers. Uh, the stickers were just painful, <laughs> but I got them all done, and I think they really look really nice. Um, I think this is the one that, that I think definitely they should do stickers on. It's so small, they shouldn't have prints, but of course for Frankenstein, they would have prints because it is, in fact, a brickhead. Because it'd just be painful to have to put those on, and then it looks bad, and then it's such a display piece. I'm off topic. This is the Hayrides part, but... It's just so good. I really love it. It looks just like a hayride, and it looks exactly how I would build one if I could. So, taking the number one spot is the Halloween hayride. Now, let's put them in the spots they go. So, for Frankenstein, I'm gonna grab him. He's going to go right there. The hayride is going to go into this mess of Lego in my room, but more specifically, right there. Ornaments, they're gonna go over with the hayride. So I usually don't film like this, but right now I have gone through both the Stranger Things table and the shelf above it to see if I could get a set to shatter. None of them broke a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them off my bed and see if I can get some major damage on them. So let's break some sets. First off is Frankenstein. So I have him at the top of my bed. On the count of three, I'm going to let him fall, hopefully to his doom. Three, two, one. <gasps> wow, that, that was nice. That was nice. Now, the Halloween Hayride. Three, two, one. Yeah, now we're getting some more damage in. The gate to the Hayride. Three, two, one. Yes. And the Pumpkin and Bat Duo, which I'm going to actually throw at the ceiling because I don't think they'll break it all. Absolutely nothing. So here is all the 
the broken parts, so let's fix these. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to give a like and subscribe if you're brand new. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss another video when I come out with the child on Monday. Because that's when I'm going to be building that set. Um, not this next, not tomorrow, but a, a week after that. So, um, and go check out Max's channel because he just built the starter course and that's going to be uploaded soon. And if you do enjoy that video, consider subscribing to him because he will really enjoy some new people watching his videos. And all of my new people that have joined me, all of my new subscribers, thank you for joining me as I build and review awesome Lego sets and have fun with Lego, like dropping them. So, I, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!